<laughs> Are we ready? ready? Ready. Okay. So I'm gonna t show you. All right. Hold on. <laughs> All right. He said <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna show you um, a couple of different scars at different stages. So I have somebody here who. Oscar. I'm doing. So I'm. And <laughs> cut. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you um, a couple of different scars at different stages because I get a lot of questions uh, from people who have accidents and surgeries and stuff like that that ask about the color of their scar. So this is a um, someone who's who had an injury. He had a pretty severe injury, and this has been months and months and months. This is almost like a 10-month-old incision, and you can see that the coloration is um, basically a very light, light color, it's turning white. Um, and then here, he just recently had surgery, what was it, like two months ago? Two months ago. Well, like two months ago. And so you can see that the scar here has a different color. And you can see it almost next to each other. It's an older scar. It's a more mature scar. So when he first came in and it was brand new, then it was really red. So scars go from being, it can be really red, and we call them angry scars. They're really red. Sometimes for different people, they can be very dark. Um, but then over time, they can lighten up and be almost like white. And then as they mature even further, fade to almost nothing. And a lot of times it depends on your pigmentation. Um, I'm somebody who's much darker, and so I injured my hand way back, and it took me years to get this light. Um, but here, this is a more new scar, and you can see when he first, when the scars, uh, when the incision first healed, it was very, very red, it was a bright red. Now it's starting to fade a little bit, and you can see it's still red. So you see it's still red as compared to the other scar, but it's, it's already from like about two weeks ago, already lightened. But you can also see another thing outside of the color. Um, this scar is relatively flat and this scar is a little bit raised. So you, you might, I don't know, can you see it's a little bit raised? Um, if you run your finger through it, you can feel um, it's dry and it's a little bit raised as compared to this one. This one's really soft and um, it's flat. So as scars mature, um, they can, they're gonna change in color and they're going to change in how raised it can be. There's different variations, but just know that just because you're seeing a scar brand spanking new, some people always ask me, they're worried about how red their scar is or how raised their scar is. Um, and those things can change over time. There's a couple of different things that you could do. One is really just massaging. Scars are dry in nature. So it's brand new skin, so you get treated like it needs a little bit of love. So uh, keeping it moisturized is really important um, to help it. And moving is really helpful to, to flatten out any scars. And different techniques, different um, types, depending on how raised your scar is. And sometimes you don't even have to do anything. This scar is raised, but it's very, very mild. So I wouldn't necessarily do anything in particular, except for just to make sure that um, through movement and, and using some, some massaging techniques um, to make sure that, that things don't get stuck underneath it. But over time, as you move it, that scar is going to flatten out and the color is going to change um, and get lighter and lighter and lighter over time. So I'm also going to show you some incisions on the back of his fingers. He had surgery on the back of his fingers and look how light they are. They're, they're a little bit on the dry side, right? They are a little bit raised. Um, you could see it here. You can see it. But look how white that is. Look how light colored that is compared to this side where it's really nice pink. Those surgeries were done, they were done at the same time. And the reason why is because we have been working the hell out of these fingers. <laughs> You really have. We've been working a lot on the scarring because we needed to make sure that these knuckles were moving. Not only to make sure that they're moving straight, but making sure that they're bending and making sure in the back of the hand that the scar 
um, is loose because if the scars are not loose, then it's very hard to move your fingers, all right? So if the skin back here is not loose, then when you try to move, everything gets really, really tight and there's no room for motion. So if you take a look, because these have been stressed so much more, then they got lighter faster, right? They changed faster because of all that the work that we had to do, all the massaging, all the moving that we had to do. This scar, we had to move, but it wasn't as um, drastic. You know, we didn't focus on this, on the wrist that much because the wrist was already moving and we knew that it wasn't gonna be a problem, so we didn't really focus on it. So this is going to mature over time, just a little bit slower, but it's still gonna mature and it's still gonna lighten up to like almost nothing. You won't even see this like this. It's gonna go really pale. It's gonna go really flat like, like all these other ones and you barely will see it later.